Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Analy channel. Today's topic is on mediations or moderation. This is very interesting topic, and I'm going to explain from data tab. As you all know, data tab is one of the powerful software for all the statistic related things. So I have gone into a statistic calculator. From there, this is the sample data I have. This data you can find it directly in the if you click clear table and find there is something called example. If you have a click it automatically, this particular data will come down. And then additionally, I have added uh, this one salary in India. And let me introduce the entire data set to you. So this is gender, male and female uh, salary outside India. For example, one thousand five hundred USD and one thousand two hundred, and it goes on. Age thirty three, forty two. These are all the age and place. The different place like you have New York, uh, Washington, and so on. And this is weight, right? So and this is the company like BMW, Ford, and so on and so forth. And academics, bachelor, master, and so on. Salary in India. This is very very a uh, general number, not. Related to anything, so I have not taken from uh, any of the sources. Just simply, I just multiplied this data into some number. I got this value, but this is just to explain the concept. So before we go and uh, mellow on this one, we need to understand two things. One is called moderator, and what is meant by moderator? What is mediator? Mediator meaning like we are going to compare. Uh, one or two variables, right? So that is with the help of mediator. So this is something called y. Y you all know dependent, right? For example, so y is depend on x. X is called you. You may have a different independent factor, right? So that is called x. So x is called independent. That is called input. Y is called output. It's called dependent. Right, that's what you will find it here. So now, what we are trying to see is we are trying to see the moderator. So we are going to have a moderator and compare two of the variable, two or more of the variable, and then see how it is being correlated with the moderator. That's what we can see. Like how, for example, height and weight of the person, we are going to correlate it. Right. So now, in between, where is, there is something called moderator, we are going to compare with that person, right? With that factor, right? So in the same thing, so let's go back now. You you are, you are able to understand what is called dependent, what is called independent. Let's go ahead and do it. So now, what I have I have done is dependent. So the salary I would like to know in India, salary in India. Independent factor. Let's say age is one independent factor. I'm going to keep the mediator and maybe mediator out salary outside India. So this is the a uh, one. So maybe moderator we can do it uh, later. That is W. We can do it later. So salary outside India, right? And uh, now I'm going to compare so these three triangular things: salary outside India with respect to age, with respect to salary in India. And then it gives the correlation value. This is interesting. Point six eight, meaning it is a, it's a moderate correlation, and it also gives the R square value, modulus value, and also it gives the p value. P value meaning like so. This is p value uh, in hypothesis. P value is an important factor, right? So it also has given the p value. So and then it has given the model, and uh, the summary model summary, and then it has also given that. Uh, the model equation and the total and so on and so forth. This is the value we have got. Now all these, for example, whatever the data you feed it, automatically p value, t value, standard error, beta, everything will get automatically calculated. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to keep uh, the moderator as this one, salary in India. I mean outside India. So like this is called conceptual diagram, salary in India. Uh, and maybe age salary uh, outside india that means 40 times higher and uh, and and then so age and this two are getting multiplied so conceptual uh, diagram so age into salary right so in this one so this is the value so r uh, square equal to got it one and age and salary in india 
salary outside India and uh, has got two factors. One is called age and salary. So like this, let's assume that you wanted to add uh, some other factor. Maybe you would like to add age, right? Again, once again, you can do it. Or if you wanted to do it uh, with something else like uh, weight, example, it makes no sense. But just to give you a concept, age, weight, and does it have any relationship, right? So we can we can also see that R square value, right? 0.48, very, very feeble uh, correlation. And let's say, let's say I will go back to the one moderator, salary outside India, and then I'm going to have that age is one factor, salary is one factor. Let's say you wanted to add the academics also as well. You can do that. I hope this is very useful for you. Please do like, share, subscribe my channel. You have wonderful.